you have characterized uh, the Turin horse as an anti-genesis, a myth of anti-creation in which everything that man once received from God is now taken back, finally the light, and therefore the good, because God is dead anyway. But how, how should you view this anti-creation myth related to the world of today? Is it a warning? Or do you think that the doom you outlined in your movie is inescapable and that we are already living towards it? You know, uh, <coughs> yes, uh, the God created the world during of six day, first day, he divided the dark, the light, but we just decided we turn it back, everything, because this movie is talking about the horse and the death of the horse and, and the death generally, which is you know, it's a really horrible thing. We all will die. And it's no, no chance. Mm -hmm. Nobody can survive. Anyway, it doesn't mean I'm pessimistic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because I, I, really, I really like to leave. And I really like uh, the people, and I just how uh, you wrote it in this booklet, quoting Van Gogh, who who said he just start to learn the looking. That's what a filmmaker is doing, mm -hmm. watching the life doing the life, moved by something, touched by something, and then transforming on yourself, and then sharing with the people. And then if you look at the world as you did when you made this movie, this is what you see, the light will go out. You can see, I'm sure, Everybody has somebody who passed away. Mm -hmm. And it's, you are facing with the fact. Mm -hmm. And okay. it's, I cannot say it's bad or good or uh, no. It's a fact. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I am very close to what was said before that the question is not to be optimistic or pessimistic. Mm -hmm. uh, so we saw just now uh, images of, uh, so to speak, I don't want to summarize, but uh, the extinction of desire. Mm -hmm. They are not hungry. The, the, the horse does not eat. Mm -hmm. The woman does not eat. They are not hungry. They are not angry. Also, extension of design. However, in spite of all, however, uh, these images are not pessimistic at all. At all. No. Um, in the few late months of his life, Benjamin, or Walter Benjamin, wrote, we must organize our pessimism, <laughs> which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Of course, he committed suicide some months later, mm -hmm. but we have the text. It is transmitted. So it is a considerable um, amount of hope, mm -hmm. and this amount of hope is, goes in Benjamin's idea himself, mm -hmm. from Goethe mm -hmm. to Kafka, mm -hmm. who said, we have a lot of hope, but, not for, but us. Not, for, <laughs> not for us. Mm. This, is this indicates the importance of uh, what uh, was called this, this morning, 
tradition, transmission, etc. Et mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So well, I just wanted to add to this um, list. I mean, you know, Gramsci talked of the pessimism of the intellect and the optimism of the will. And I think in these beautiful and extremely moving images of bare humanity that Bella has given us, there is in their very beauty a kind of optimism and the optimism of having made that into art. We are left, we've got bare humanity, we've got an absolutely brutal, non-desiring situation, and yet, and yet, there is beauty in it.